Hi, I'm Parker Kelly, and I'm here on Martha's Vineyard. Cue the bells. That's right. And I'm here with uh, Patrick Ahern, the architect, and we are here for the 10th annual Martha's Vineyard Food and Wine Festival, and it's filled with activities. This four-day event is uh, for culinary and wine extravaganza, but one of the activities is also a walking tour. My tour. Your tour, yes. So I'm very excited to be jumping along on this. Thank uh, you. We're happy to be invited to the festival. Tell us a little bit about the tour. Well, I've been doing this a number of years, and we try to um, basically uh, educate people to what the architecture of Eggertown's all about, and village living, and pedestrian scale, and kind of a primer on what makes a livable livable city and village. And so the tour is an hour and a half long? Yes. And what, what uh, where does it cover? Well, we're going to cover this year uh, a number of houses on South Water Street uh, that I've been able to renovate. And uh, realistically, we're going to get into three houses on the interior. Oh, nice. So Excellent. two that are complete uh, and one that is nearly complete. So we'll talk about process and working in historic districts and things like that. You know, people talk about new urbanism and, and different ways of living and, and living in, in these communities that are being built now that feel a little bit like Edgartown. And uh, it's, it's pedestrian oriented, although cars are still welcome. There are porches, there's a public sensibility and human scale, and then there's private gardens and semi-public spaces. And as I try to explain to uh, my clients and students, uh, well, this is the real deal here. This is 300 years old, and this is the original new urbanism. So when we got involved with this house, it's a post and beam house, 1682 vintage. The foundation had crumbled. The house was about ready to fall down. It was all beetle bung rot. So we basically had to lift up the vestiges of the house, put it on a new foundation, <coughs> gently put it down, and then surgically replace post and beam by post and beam the entire house. So when we jacked the house up, we were then uh, able to create this under, uh, under the porch area uh, with a fireplace and then there's the guy's pub. We purposely shingled the carriage house because we really wanted that to feel more like it was one of the barns that were in the in the area at the time. Let the house speak for itself. Let's do the wraparound porch. So this is new construction and they wanted a uh, a village house, not necessarily a captain's house, but a village house but they wanted a fairly edited interior. So they wanted the historic outside, but a, a more clean interior. So that's what we gave them. So it's a little bit of an education, but also kind of a, like a People Magazine view of, of uh, life of the rich and famous. Okay. I have a few announcements to make that I think are important. Uh, one is, uh, I think you've noticed uh, we've been trailed by a, a camera, cameraman and a lovely, beautiful blonde lady. And uh, they're from New England Living TV. And uh, they have a, a show that airs on Sundays. Parker Kelly, who is she? Yes. And uh, they've been uh, filming all around New England in all different places. And it's a great show. Many of them always have a, have a chef featured. We didn't have a chef today, unfortunately. No, but every episode has a chef. But uh, this will be on their website, pieces of it. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. 